My name is Namat Sabar and this is my show Propagation at Terry Goldberg Gallery. It's a show that's made out of three elements that um, compose one installation, which is very much a field of sound and the possibility to vibrate and create sound through uh, material form. Walking in, you see this slanted wall that's in air and it's actually going into a stage monitor. So that's what's holding it. So if you want to sing into the wall, you could just talk into the wall. Um, it's basically a singing wall. The longest wall of the gallery is basically a sketch that turns, in a way, the whole gallery into a, the inside of a speaker box. These are basically inverted speakers, home bookshelf speakers, that I cut holes in the wall for, and they're throwing all the sound that's coming out of them into the inner space behind the wall. There's three sculptures. This one is a felt sculpture. It's made out of felt, um, along with with another material that I put into it that kind of gives it the ability to maintain tension. It's just a piano string that goes through one side to the other and it's tightened and that is what forms the sculpture but also gives it the ability to create sound which is actually coming through the gallery wall. This is another element, um, not from felt, it's from paper, it's from watercolor paper, again with this special technique. It could be played in many ways. And the third one is another, is another more bassy kind of uh, felt work. What happens is every week I rehearse with musicians. We find out the way to kind of play these instruments. Um, because I change the tuning every week. Sometimes the work is flatter, sometimes it's more erect. Um, but also the notes that it can make change. And so we actually have to write a new song every week for it. My first love is, uh, as a teenager growing up is, uh, was music and sound. And it took a very, very big place in my world, but also in my imagination. Being introduced into the art world through my uh, bachelor studies in Israel, very naturally they kind of connected to each other. Because I think there's a very interesting relationship between the way sound is uh, made, which is through a performance or an act. If it's talking or singing, which is a very, in a way, it's kind of a very expressive act. Um, and the voice is its outcome, or if it's playing on stage. And I find it's, it's very similar in a way to what an artist does in a studio. So I'm kind of interested in, in kind of the relationship that introducing music and sound into a, a silent uh, environment, sculptural environment, can for moments create that creation again, you know, kind of like recreate the act of creation. And that's very much what this work is about, is expanding the borders of uh, the sculpture through the gallery architecture, through the sound that propagates through the material that makes up the gallery.